So I'm pretty familiar with GQRX. Uh, so when I came across the program the other day that looked similar, uh, it caught my attention. Not to mention the fact the uh, name Sig Digger is a, a pretty cool name. So I started reading, looking into it. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and get it up and running in Dragon OS with the intention of uh, pre-installing it in, in the next release here. So I had a look at the the GitHub page for uh, Sig Digger and could see that uh, it didn't run on uh, GNU Radio, which I thought was pretty interesting, and, and instead used uh, some uh, custom-built backends by the developer here. So to get this running, you have to do quite a few things in order here. Uh, you need Sig Utils, uh, SU Scan, and then on to SU Widgets uh, before you finally get to Sig Digger. Let's go ahead and get this installed in uh, Dragon OS uh, until I build it in there by uh, default. So we'll start with the SIG utils. And even before then, I noticed that uh, we need a few we need a few items uh, to install first. So let's go ahead and install lib XML. Two and also lib soapy sdr dev and I think that's it. Actually, one other package. It was uh, lib. Dev. All right. And we'll change to our user source. We'll go ahead and pull down the SIG utils. Our build directory. sudo make and followed by sudo make install. LD config. Okay, so we've got our SIG utils. Uh, uh, go to the uh, SU scan. Okay, we need to grab SU scan. Change uh, up to our user source. Do the same thing, make our build directory. Again, sudo make, cmake. Okay, everything looks everything looks good. Sudo make. Okay. Don't forget sudo ld config. Okay, so we've got our sig utils, uh, su scan. Now we need to do our su widgets. back up to our user source. OK. 
QMake SU widgets. I know this is probably not the most exciting uh, part of the video, but I just want to show uh, in case you want to come through and build it on your own uh, prior to me getting it into the next release. Uh, that way you can get up and running. Okay. Okay, we've got that installed. And last, we'll go ahead and pull it from the repository. I think it's uh, right now it's only one. Uh, where did I see that? Uh, one commit ahead of the release here. So. Back to user source. Okay, we've got our SIG digger pulled down. Okay, we're finished. Now we'll install. You'll notice it puts it in the uh, op there, so when you come down, uh, you need to actually run it with this. Get it loading up. My resolution isn't the greatest the way I'm uh, streaming this to record it. So let's go ahead and maximize. You're going to notice it looks similar to GQRX. Uh, I'll come up here. we we'll click on settings. We can see we've got uh, my two devices here, RTL SDR and the HackRF. I'll go ahead and try the HackRF here first. see how the audio works here so uh, we we need to check this that opens up the demodulator here come down to FM Let's Okay, I can hear the audio. Sounds good. Okay, let's see if we can record. We got here time domain capture. So I've got a lot to learn about this program. We can see come down here, it's got another feature here PSK, FSK, ASK. Now the developer here. 
uh, Batch Drake, he has a YouTube video where he um, goes through some of the features here. So I'll have to watch his channel a little more to understand how this works. Now, let's... Uh, Take a look. Uh, panoramic spectrum. I'm wondering if this is uh, similar to Q Spectrum Analyzer. I don't know how fast it's scanning through. So we're scanning the full device range uh, of the Hacker F. Obviously, I don't have uh, an antenna that covers all of that. Uh, band plan, this is interesting. So this can help you out here. Uh, you can see the different bands. That's useful. See, we can bring up the band plans on here as well. First, let me go ahead and see what it looks like with our RTL SDR. Sounds good. Change some of the features here. Let's try panoramic with the RTL SDR. 23 to 1.7 gigahertz. Alright, that gets us up and running with uh, Sig Digger. I think the developer would really appreciate uh, any feedback, and I'm sure, as would everyone, uh, like to see a release of this maybe through uh, like a package manager. Um, yeah.